and I realized I forgot. So I. Welcome back to another vlog. Um, as you've seen this morning, I've gotten up, um, been out for a walk with my mum, and then we went and ran a couple of errands. I'm competing this afternoon down at QSAC, so I've got the morning off. Um, I've just been editing my vlog from last week, which I will link below, so you can watch it if you haven't seen it. And I'm about to go now and clean out my car a little bit and sort of pack it uh, before I have a little bit of lunch and get organized to head off. I'm running a one and a two today, um, but there is a 400 hurdles at the start of the program. And while I'm not running, because we're still doing a bit of work on that event, um, and perhaps more importantly, we haven't actually done any of the first few hurdles. We're focusing on the second half of the race at the moment. I am still gonna go down and have a watch and just see how the girls go and just generally what's happening. <music> Um, I did end up leaving a little bit later because um, I remembered that I had taken all my nail polish off the night before and I had thought I wanted to do gel nails in the morning and then I realized I forgot so I tried painting them and yeah they weren't quite dry when I started to get dressed so nails haven't worked out fine but that's all right I can take the nail polish off and put gels nails on tomorrow night. Um, good drive here just got a text message um, but because I did leave a little later than I wanted I've probably missed the women's 400 hurdles so that's okay it's not like the end of the world um, a little bit nervous now like the nerves are sort of kicked in um, even though it's my less you know serious events but um, it's also super super windy so hopefully it's not a headwind but also on the same hand hopefully it's not um, any legal tailwind so um, I'll pull on in my jumper and we'll head in <laughs>
lunch now um, and this morning I have just gotten up, done my run, washed my car and gone grocery shopping and of course my neighbour has just started his um, motorcycle the second I start doing a piece to camera but that's okay. Um, so my races last night went actually really really well um, even though they didn't feel that great so um, for the 100 I ran really close to the PB I ran a few weeks ago so that was really close and in the 200 we had a slight headwind and I did manage to run faster than um, I did two weeks ago and just outside my PB again which is really annoying because I really really wanted to run um, a PB over the 200 but Russ was really happy with both my races I wasn't so much happy with them like I said just because they didn't feel great to me but um when you look back at the videos, you can see that I was clearly in the top, top heat for both of them. So not being a primarily short sprinter, um, I was never going to like win. And that's kind of more where I'm coming from judging it on is that I'm not like winning. So therefore it's not a good race, but the times are very pleasing and they're moving in the right direction. So Russ and I are both really stoked. This morning, my run was further than it was last week, which I was really happy about because I was very, very sore. Um, so that's always good to put out a good sort of end of the week longer run when I'm a little bit stiff and sore because it's like a mental thing as well as a physical thing. Um, so this afternoon I'm probably just going to sit down, watch some television, um, do a bit of recovery and um, kind of just redo my nails because I mucked mine up yesterday, do my toenails and then yeah definitely have an Epsom bath salt and put a real heavy focus on um, recovery tonight because I want to be nice and fresh for the coming week. I don't want to sort of feel like I did last week. Um, it's also a long weekend so that means I can have a sleep in tomorrow, I'm going for a little bit of walk with my mum in the morning and then do some extra recovery. Train it only comes on a very blue moon Think twice, and you missed it again Waiting in line for the party to end Cause you didn't get what they asked for Not a genie in sight, that reality gets So there's no point to being careful Learn the rules in the
Hey guys, so it is Monday evening now and I'm just getting ready to sort of have a shower and get to bed. I've just been doing some recovery after my track session. It's been a pretty good day today, pretty just relaxing day, which is exactly what I wanted. I woke up, um, went for a walk with my mum, did some recovery, did just some stuff around the house, um, filmed some stuff for Instagram, which I was really happy to get done so I don't have to try and jam it in tomorrow when I'm working from home. Um, we had a lunch together as a family and then we just watched, we've been watching, um, I purchased uh, Paramount Plus and we've been watching CSI Miami all the way through. Um, it's so tacky and it's funny, it's just great. Um, and then this afternoon we went to training and I did the same session that I did last week and really, really struggled through. This week I did it and, um, and no dramas and all the times were faster. So that was really, really good to see. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm just doing some foam rolling. I'm going to jump in and have a shower soon and I'm going to head off to bed. Um, I'm lucky I am working from home tomorrow, so um, I don't really have to worry about being up to go anywhere. Yeah, so it's been a really good long weekend, really productive one, but also relaxing at the same time. So I'm going to end the vlog off here. Thank you very much once again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you... Um, always see when I upload um, and um, if you'd like to here's my Instagram um, I post there very regularly and there's lots more behind the scenes training wise there so once again thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video